Um, as we take a look at kind of just this up and down that we, I would assume, are probably going to have to buckle in for a roller coaster ride uh, as we go through the next couple of months. Yeah, for for sure. So, all right. So we're setting at or near record prices. I think markets are always looking for the what are the things that are going to break markets and it doesn't take much to get them to go lower. And then we know we're really short beef supplies and we go higher. I, I don't think that cycle uh, ch changes anytime soon. Uh, I'm, uh, as you've, I've said here several times and we'll say again, I'm not sure we're done with record cattle prices. Um, I, it's hard to say when we're at records already, uh, but uh, that, that volatility is probably with us for a period of time. You and I say risk management almost every week, and this is another opportunity to say, uh, so if, if not all operations need to, to do this, but if you're one that can't stand a lot of risk, maybe there are reasons you want to do some LRP or or something else to make sure that, you know, you you don't hit the lows uh, that, that are probably coming over the next uh I don't know, six to nine months of this volatility of up and down that we seem to be in today. It definitely, um, I think maybe the conversation is we're not looking to hit the highs every time. We're looking to make sure that our operation can continue to function and hopefully uh, be in the black as it's doing so. And correct. And I, I will say, you know, so we've had a few issues that have been pressuring cattle prices this year, but thus far we haven't had a big issue. Um, let, let's not forget a, a big negative issue um, could, could really cause some havoc in these markets. Um, the, the probability of that happening is not zero, although it is low. Uh, 